Who is it? JP? It's Ava. No, don't worry about it. Just get dressed. Get in the bathroom. No. Jack, you can't let your wife find you here. I'm tired of pretending, and I'm through running. Jack, please, remember your grandfather's warning. What's the point, Stacy? She all but knows about us already. Go on, open the door. Find you here. Scene of the crime. I just want to look at the analog display one last time before the press conference. I can't imagine why. Wasn't it fabulous today with all the reporters and people from the cosmetics industry? You loved every minute of it, no doubt about mm -hmm. that. But you were dodging the press like they were poison. Why? My brothers and I, we made kind of a pact to keep our ugly mugs out of the media as much as possible. Why? Well, I mean, our business is no advantage to being a celebrity. <laughs> you know, you can create jealousy with the folks you try to cut a deal with. Besides, I'd, I'd rather just sit back and watch you stretch your stuff. Wow. The photographers and the reporters today were a big improvement over that interviewer this morning. The one that kept asking me about Jonathan. And you handled it very well. But why did he do it? Didn't it seem weird to you? Not especially. He's a reporter, so why wouldn't he ask you about it if uh, he thought there was a story there? There's another half of it. Oh, look, Lorna, we're not going to ruin another evening talking about a Jonathan, are we? Link, I know you think I'm being ridiculous, but the memory of Jonathan is bothering me a lot more than I've told you. I'm having more dreams about him. Lorna, Jonathan's dead, and they're just dreams. No, they're not. They're starting to carry over into the day. It's like I can just feel him around. Now, Lorna, come on. Come here. I know that that's ridiculous. Yes, this is Mrs. Hammond. Um, could you please try my husband's room one more time? Father, um, 
Mother said you went to bed. Oh, well, that was her idea, but I couldn't sleep. Well, you know, you really should try. You haven't fully recovered. I am fit as a fit. Now, what is wrong with you, darling? Nothing. Put that glass down and talk to me. Now, what's the matter? Isabel said you talked to Dan and everything was all right. Well, it is not all right. I lied. I didn't talk to Dane. He never called me. Well, it's almost midnight. Maybe he's asleep. I know. I know. I'm being silly. I'm sure he's very tired. He probably had a very busy day. And he just forgot to call me. But I love him so much. I need him so badly. And I'm not going to say a word against Dane, because you're the person I care for. You're my daughter. I, it hurts me to see you like this. No. Do you know you were the most wonderful father anyone could ever have? I don't know where I'd be with that. No, and pull yourself together. You worked yourself up into a state over nothing. I am just very disappointed that he didn't call me. Well, that's no reason to go on a bender. I am not going on a... A bender? <laughs> Did you say a bender? Well, you've obviously had a lot more to drink than you should. And I refuse to believe that it's because of a phone call. Take a lot more than that to do this to a daughter of mine. No. What? No. I'm not in my right mind. Yes, you are absolutely right, Father. I just lost control. At this time, WGGB-TV will leave the air for approximately five minutes while some technical adjustments are made at the transmitter site. Please stay tuned. We will return to the air and resume our regular programming in approximately five minutes. WGGB-TV now resumes broadcasting, having been off the air briefly for technical adjustment. Thank you for staying tuned. We regret any inconvenience caused during this time. But I never will! Jack! I will, however, stay with you until the baby's born, because I promise to do that, and I'll live up to my commitment. But the moment that baby's here, you and I are separated. Oh, Jack, I can't stand this! <laughs> I love you, Jack. And I'm sure once the baby's born, you're going to love him as much as I will. I never said I wouldn't love the baby. Jack, your feelings for me will change. I'm the mother of your child. The situation will change. We'll work things out. I'm leaving you, Ava. The only thing left to work out is a divorce settlement, so you think about that, okay? Okay. I'll never let you leave me, Jack. And I'll never let another woman have you. Darling, how are you feeling today? Well, not exactly top drawer. <laughs> well, that's a wonderful day. Your mother's still in the greenhouse with the gardener discussing floral scheme for Shana's wedding. Oh, Father, please. The thought of Shana's wedding makes my head throb. Your head throbs because of all the liquor you drank last night. Yes, I know. I did overindulge. I'm sorry. And why? Now, I know you said it was because Dane didn't call you to wish you good night, but you behaved as though it were something else. Father, that was just the alcohol talking. Everything between Dane and me is just fine, I promise. Hello. Hello, darling. Dane, how are you? Uh, well, I'm uh, very busy. I got the message that you called last night. Folks. It's come this morning. Is everything all right? Uh, yes, fine. I was, I was just trying to reach you. Where were you? It has been bedlam since I got here. I had to have a strategy meeting with Gwyneth, and I had to go to the men's club to catch up with some Wall Street types. It was very late when I got back to the hotel. I was worried about you. Couldn't you tell that? I said it was very late. I thought if I called, I'd wake you. Now, I uh, am sorry if that was an error in my judgment. No, of course not. And I have, I have six messages here that you called last night. It certainly doesn't seem to me that you're pulling yourself together like I told you to. I am. I just wanted you so much last night. And please, there are ten people here waiting to talk to me. Darling, please tell me that I can come to New York. No. 
please? Then I thought we had this settled. Yes, of course. I shouldn't have bothered you. I'm sorry. Just call me whenever you can. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Gwyneth Alden, Vice President of Armorel. I'd like to thank all of you for being here with us today. And I would like to welcome you to the official unveiling of the beauty discovery of the decade. Armorel for the Ageless Woman. Since Amarelle's star is just beginning to rise, it was only fitting that we should choose as our image model a rising star herself. May I introduce Miss Lorna Forbes. Okay, what's the good news? Daytime Dilemmas, back in June, ABC is giving away a total of $100,000 in cash and prizes. The first five people each day who correctly guess the outcome of a described scene will win $1,000. To enter, send your name, address, and phone number on a postcard to Daytime Dilemma, Post Office Box 80, New York, New York, 10046. Play the game each weekday in June during Loving, All My Children, and General Hospital. We may be calling you to play the all-new Daytime Dilemma. Stace, come on, it's me. Come on, Stacy, open up. I told you to stay away. It's gonna be all right. What? I just talked to Ava. I think I finally got through to her. I think I finally made her understand that there is no way I'm ever gonna love her. I told her to think about the divorce settlement because the moment that baby comes, we split. And what did she say? Nothing. Nothing at all. She agreed. No protests, no more tantrums. Well, just be careful, Jack. I think Ava's silence could be a lot more dangerous than her tantrums. Ava? Hi, Anne. Hi. Somes told me you wanted to see me. 
Yes, I called your office and they said I could find you here. Well, I do have to leave shortly, but what can I help you with? I need some advice. <laughs> About what? Oh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. But I, I don't know who else to turn to. I can't talk to my own mother about these kinds of things, and besides, you always know just the right thing to do. Well, I don't, but thank you very much for the compliment. Well, you know, I, I, I felt so close to you since I've been married to Jack, and you've been so nice to us. Ava, Jack's my son. Yeah, well, hey, we've got problems. It's another woman, and I think you know who it is. I don't think I want to hear about this. Please, just tell me what to do. I, I, I don't know myself. How should I be with him? What can I say to him? Well, I really don't think you're going to like my answer. Oh, what? Just tell me. I'll do anything at this point. Nothing. What? Ava, I learned a long time ago that if you suspect your husband is cheating on you, even if you are sure of it, that there is nothing you can do but ignore it. But how can you say that? I've got to do something. What else? Get angry? Break down and cry, throw, throw tantrums, make threats, try to talk to him? You can't stop it from happening, Ava. All you can do is ignore it and hope that it goes away. Wow, what a day. I feel like I'm dancing on air. I'm so exhausted, but I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> Just steady yourself down and take yourself a deep breath. Where's he? Oh, I don't know. I need to ask you a question. Ask Colby. Where have you been? I've been looking for you. What do you mean, missing the ET interview that I had set up for you? I changed my mind. Keith, about you do that. not just change your mind. I did. Now look, this entire launch is about us getting as much publicity as possible. Well, if I don't like photographers and I don't like reporters. Well, do you know that now is not the time to tell me that? The last thing we need is a hostile press. You are absolutely beautiful when you're angry. And don't change the subject. I'm serious. You're irresistible. Do you know you're like a, another person? Perhaps I am. Oh, no. Join us. Seven Central days of mystery and nights of terror as a female vampire stalks the hills of Hollywood in I Desire, the ABC Thursday night movie. Then the new generation of hot Hollywood starlets on 2020. Tuesday at 10, 9 Central, there's something out there and it's changing all our lives. Join host David Hartman and explore the fascinating world of technology in the future is now.